Hello there, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to Battlefleet Config. So, we did just see the, um, I'm going to say unfair match against the enemy in the last round. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, carry on. However, I believe I'm going to take the torpedo ships this time. I, I do like the Lancers, I do really appreciate the Lancers for the fact that they can do that damage to armor as well. However... The uh, torpedoes of the oh bottles oh oh <laughs> is this actually him? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, let's not get starstruck. We'll take that. Do I want the firestorm? Hmm. Thirty-five. I could take two cobras. Hmm. I think I will take two Cobras, actually. There we go. Right. So we'll have the Lunar class, we'll have the Dauntless class here, we'll have the two Cobras. That's going to be good for me. I should be able to use the Torpedoes to deny their area of movement. Here we go. Feeling the pressure. So it looks as though we have a straight-up um, battle to the death here. Ah, uh, okay. oh, defend the platform. Okay. I'm not going to lie, this is really good for me. I do enjoy having the platforms. I believe they're armed with the heavy macros. Okay, whoops. There we go. They are armed indeed with a heavy macro. There we go. Okay, so we'll deploy in between our platforms. At least then we can respond to any threat. Cobra's over here. It doesn't matter too entirely much. Right. Okay. No, the enemy is over there. I believe I will indeed fire off some uh, torpedoes. So we're going to have everybody not move. So aim that way. Loose torpedoes. There we go. Your orders. Awaiting orders. I really wish I did not have to do this manually. Your orders. Okay, so we can see a devastation. Your orders. You can see our torpedoes are doing you know, some work over Waiting there. Orders. Right. Awaiting orders. There we go. His shields are down. Get within range. Torpedoes are out. Enemy ship sighted. Okay, we need to focus on the flagship. Right, one escort is down, no matter. Turn. That did a lot of damage right there. Ram the enemy. Oh, damn it, I was so far off. Okay, reload. Stasis bomb. Enemy down. There we go. Torpedoes away. Your orders. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. At your command. Okay, we're gonna do a turn. Yes, Admiral. Emergency repairs. 
Okay, we do have Torpedo Salvo ready momentarily. Right. We are away. Let's uh, close that range. He's doing a lot of damage to our platform over there. However, if I take down his main ship, then we're good. Lightning strike successful. Torpedoes out. Awaiting orders. Torpedoes out. Yep, he is down. Your orders. That is most likely to die. Come on, let's finish it. Yep. Enemy down. All ahead full. We're gonna use the lightning strikes here. Awaiting orders. Okay. Try and get him in the stasis over there. Yes, Turn. Torpedoes will be up in about seven seconds. Is he going to ram it? He's going to ram it, isn't he? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that still does damage. Ship crippled, ah, I've got to give it him. That's quite a smart tactic. We lost a defense platform. There we go. Yes, Admiral. At your command. Course plotted. Ah, can't um, can't deny that was a good tactic. Right. Still, we'll gain the kill here. Your orders? Just a matter of time. Okay, disruption bomb, why the hell not? Waiting orders. GG. Now then, we did lose the platforms. But we did uh, completely annihilate the enemy. So I'll take that victory. I do feel these platform missions, it is rather unfair. Oh, that's quite a lot of renown there. Sadly, we didn't gain any from the Luna. I really want to gain some renown for the Luna. Ah, oh, well. Right then. So, we are... Hmm, we're getting better towards level 4 then. I think uh, we can go ahead and try another round. Okay. The Cobras were okay. They were okay. Having those numbers is pretty nice. However, they, um... They're nowhere near as strong, but about half the integrity of a firestorm. So, you are paying. It's basically one ship still. It's just the fact that, um, obviously, they're gonna have to fire on two ships. Now, whether those, uh... Voids are worth it. I.e. be separate ships having separate shields. Right, we'll take the level 3 Dauntless then. Not that we can afford much else. Uh, we are playing Cruiser Clash. This a straight up battle to the death. So we might as well bring out our big guns. Do do do. Did I click ready? I did. Indeed. So we'll have to use our torpedoes. I do need to try and shield my larger ship. I think I have an issue where I tend to send the Lunar in first. And, um, that's not the wisest of decisions. Mostly because they get targeted by the full combined firepower of the enemy fleet. So we'll have the Dauntless ahead of the Lunar. But then again, we do have the Lunar doing higher speeds now, don't we? Okay, we'll go for something like that. Uh, we'll head to over there. Ship ready. Can we get rid of that shot? There we go. Ship ready. Right, so we've seen flea blips over there. So that could be two light cruisers and escorts. Or, uh, cruiser to escorts. Your we'll orders. see what we come up against. He is not moving, however. Ah, now he is. Right. 
Yes, we are facing off against two light cruisers here. Now, so we have a cruiser MK2 and a Lance and a Firestorm. Yeah, so we do need to try and engage in this territory. Hmm. Awaiting orders. Okay. Yes, Admiral. Now the fact is we have the torpedoes here, so what I can do is I can try to use these torpedoes to try and intercept him. And do damage from a very long way. So we'll do that then. Your orders. Now I doubt these are going to hit, but we'll have another Torpedo Salvo ready soon. Your orders. Actually... Yes, they are going to miss. Awaiting orders. 26 seconds, 20 seconds. Right. Ship ready. Ship ready. Hmm. I think we should try to take out the escort first. If we can take out the escort first, then we can start doing the damage we need to. Right. Torpedoes out. Your Torpedoes out. Let's do the damage that we need to do here. Right. His shields are down, of course. Those torpedoes will be slowed immensely by the stasis field. That's not too much of a problem. There we go. And uh, that is looking like a nice spread right there. Lightning strike successful. We do need to be careful of this asteroid field, so we'll head away from this. Okay. We're going to go all ahead full here. There we go. Did take some damage there, so we are going to uh, pull off and repair. Now, I do not want to be near this asteroid field, so if I can run over here, I'll turn around and fire off my torpedoes once we've uh, made that range up. Okay. Keep moving. You can turn. I need to have these torpedoes out. In a moment. Okay. Torpedoes out. Torpedoes out. Ooh, those did a lot of damage. Oh, that's gonna do damage. That did a lot of damage. Come on. Oh dear. Right, we did a lot there. Weapon destroyed. Excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now our main cruiser here is fully up and ready. Right, let's do a full turn here. High energy turn. Whoops, we hit our own ship there. That's not good. And uh, torpedoes away. Yes, Lovely. Your orders. Come on, turn. Turn. Torpedoes. Escort is down. So. Has he lost engines? No, he has not lost engines. Awaiting orders. Right, let's turn and give them another taste of our torpedoes. Torpedoes away. Ship ready. Right turn. Awaiting orders. Torpedoes away. Weapon destroyed. Engines destroyed. Not good. Really not good. Okay, more torpedoes out there. Right, I did not want to lose those torpedoes. Sorry, those engines. Right, we are really starting to take damage here. Awaiting orders. Hmm. Right, our voids are back up. Right. Yes, yeah, so if we can just keep on doing damage here, that'd be great. Yes, 
Okay, torpedoes will be ready in a moment. So we'll do a high energy turn in a moment. We'll start it now. Right turn. Get ready to torpedo the enemy. He's going to do the same to us in a moment by the looks. Okay. Actually, we should be able to get a full broadside of torpedoes into this guy. Torpedoes away. Nicely done. Ship ready. Continue to give him the full broadside. Reload. Ah, that failed. Yes, we are doing a lot of damage here. It looks as though his torpedoes have been destroyed. Yep, he's going to go down in a moment. Yes, Admiral. Won't be long now. Our Luna is barely... It's barely been touched. Dawnless class destroyed. These renegades will be brought before the Emperor. He's going to escape. God damn it, Ship sir. Ready. Stand and fight. Awaiting yep, orders. he's out. Well, GG. Okay, well, I'll take that over victory. And I do believe we actually gained some experience for our uh, Luna this time. So that's not bad at all. I think what we need to do is, uh, in the future, if I'm going to lose a ship, I do need to probably get that ship out of her. Oh, uh, did we not? Oh, we did gain some experience for the Luna. Fantastic. At long last. And we have a level 4 Dauntless. But yes, you can see there that the longer... Well, the more battles we go through without our ships gaining an experience, the weaker they are. Right, we can actually fit another upgrade. And crew. Fantastic. So I'm going to go for the Commissar. And uh, we do have 349 here. I could actually afford to have a flavour. Right, so we could have the Adaptus Astartes, Terminator Lightning Strike, the Space Marines, the ship is granted plus 10 to its troop value, Space Marines give additional uh, board in as well. Um, hmm. I think we may go in fact for that, however I will go for an upgrade just to bring the ship up anyway. So it has a hull integrity of 600, that has 800. So, what should we go for? We already have the turbo weaponry, making our macro cannons longer ranged. Which is, ah, uh, it's okay, I guess. Ah. That would be quite handy. Let's see. Targeting matrix. Hmm. Ah. Uh, we'll do the flavor here. We'll grab the Adeptus Astartes. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that is beautiful! So we have the Imperial Fist chapter aboard the ship. That's really nice. That is really nice. The Adeptus Astartes. So. Okay. Well. Now I do have the Terminator Lightning Strike, I do believe. That would be correct, I'd imagine. Yes, we have the Terminator Lightning Strike. Adds one assault action to the lightning strike. Now, we could go for the teleportation, the teleportarium upgrade. And increasing... Where is it? Weaponry. Um, proved warp engine, auxiliary shields. What's this? Navigational shields? Okay. Um, I'm missing it here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Additional teleportarium. So, we could go for something where once we take the shields down, we do a shitload of damage. That might be worthwhile. I think we should really emphasize the advantage that we have here. So I think I'm going to fit this additional teleportarium. I do want to see how we perform here, but doesn't that look cool? I wish you could choose a chapter. I'd imagine you'd be able to do that in the future. I'd love to see this in the chapter colors of the Dark Angels. I'm looking forward to seeing how the ship performs in combat now. 
I could have gone for the hull integrity to make the ship more sturdy, which I might do in the future. It depends on how it turns out. Right, 400. We are facing off against a Imperial. Okay. Two Dauntless Sirs, perhaps. Yeah. I guess a Firestorm. Ah, this will be interesting. I'm not used to controlling this many vessels, which is always an issue. But look at that, we have our vessel in the Imperial Fish Yellow. What is our mission here? Look at that yellow. Oh. How? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I do not understand the mission. Hmm. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? I'm really pleased about that one. Okay. So, we'll sign control groups, so we'll have uh, control group one. There we go, one, two, three, good. Enemy ship sighted. Right, use an assault action to recover the data from the enemy flagship before it disengages. I think I can do that one quite easily. Okay. Oh good, I can do it like that, fantastic. Right, torpedoes away. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes away. So yes, we do have the teleportation strike here with the uh, Terminators. Uh, torpedoes out here, good. <laughs> Close the range. Is that the enemy flagship? Right, we have a Dauntless Mark crew as a uh, Dauntless Mark 2. So I'm going to assume that is the enemy flagship over there. Yep, that is definitely a Dominator class as well. It's armed with the Nova. Okay, we're going to turn. No, we have a Dauntless. Wow. Right, destroy the escort. Oh, there is the enemy flagship. God damn. Okay, let's take out this light cruiser first. Right, torpedoes out. There we go. Engines have been destroyed. Right, we're going to bring our Space Marine vessel over here. Ship ready. That's good. We've already destroyed quite a few ships of the enemy. Right. Torpedoes are out. Let's taunt the enemy ship over here. He'll lose control of it. Torpedoes out. There we go. Doing quite a lot of damage to the flagship. We just need that teleport strike in about 30 seconds, so I'll have you uh, so I can command it myself. Right, we do have another ship over here. I forgot about that one. Okay. We'll get ready to launch torpedoes. God damn that Nova strike. Yeah, he's pretty screwed. Seven seconds. There we go, we got it. We need to get the hell out of here. Ah, oh, he's got his shields back. Your orders? Right, we just need to warp out, then. I could probably take him on, to be honest. Yes, right, so if I warp out, does that mean I win? I'm call. not sure. Awaiting orders. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn around. We're going to start uh, getting ready to orders? launch our broadsides of torpedoes. Yeah, he's getting out of here. Wait, do we not have that? Wait a minute. Oh, god damn it, I thought we had the data. Did we not have the data? Did I misread that? I thought we had the data. Huh. 
Okay. I'm sure we had the data. It did say data, didn't it? <laughs> I'm feeling like I missed something. I'm really... F okay, well, whatever. I thought... I swear we had the data, but... Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll just... um. I'll take that one on the chin, then. I swear to God we had the data, though. Right, we are getting close to being level 4, so we'll be able to get some new ships here. Now, I think I will make you a Space Marine ship as well. However, I might save up and actually make you one. How much would that cost me? That would cost me about 400 rin now, so quite expensive. Right, what do we want? We might go for the gunnery. That would be quite nice to have. Though, hmm... If we go to the ratings here, increase the troop value of our ship by 3. That makes our board in actions better, makes our board in defense even better as well. So that's good for me. Now... We did perform admirably. We do have the crew over here. Um, let's see. Yeah. I think we'll go for the Master Gunner. I do love how this looks. I really wonder if you can change what uh, chapters there will be. I'd imagine so. But it's pretty sweet having the Imperial Fists anyway. And, uh, yeah. They just make that ship a hell of a lot more effective. Can we see what kind of board in action strength we have? Troop value is 60, compare that to the Dauntless of 50. 53 here. So it's not insanely overpowered, though they are stronger. So that's something to take into account. We will do a lot more damage with those teleport strikes and the board in actions. And I do believe we will have more board in actions. Lightning strike can deal one additional sword action. Affects all lightning strike skills. Um. Hmm. Right. Affiliation the generator. Right, alt for more. Okay, I'm interested about this. The Terminator line is strike. Chances of dealing critical damage to the target ship are based on its troop value. Okay. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I'm just going to go with the assumption that um, it is better. Yeah. Additional actions for Bordens as well. Hmm. But I'm kind of considering taking this turbo weaponry off, which I think I will do. I'm going to take that off, and we're going to invest in something else. So let's see. I could invest in the hull reinforcement to just make the ship sturdier. Which, honestly, it's not a bad idea. So our ship's now 700 integrity. It's not m much less than the Lunar Class cruiser over here. So our ship will be in the fight, so I'm going to do it with the other one as well. Might as well. Yeah, so we'll give you the whole reinforcement over here. So now we're working with two light cruisers here that are just slightly weaker than the actual Lunar Class cruiser. I mean, I could um, take the upgrade off the Lunar Class and go for something else in the future, which I think I will do. We'll find something that um, works better for the Lunar. We are coming towards the end of this episode, guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to end the episode. And, yeah, we'll go for the start of the episode, and then I'll let it run over, and uh, we'll work like that. Right, Cruiser Clash. Ah, we're going up against a Chaos player. Fair enough. Take our Light Cruisers here, and I guess we'll take a... Firestorm. Actually, I'm going to bring it to an end here, so thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you can go ahead and subscribe for more. And until next time, it's been, um, it's been a complete blast. So, goodbye for now.